Hi everybody, thank you for watching. So today's video is going to be a new Will I Buy It? I post my Will I Buy It videos every single Wednesday where I'm talking about some new makeup releases and launches, letting you know a little bit about them and also whether I'm going to pick them up or if I'm planning to pass over them. Like I said, I do post these every single Wednesday, so I'll have my playlist linked down below if you want to catch any of my past Will I Buy It videos. In addition to these, I'm also posting every single day in addition to a live chat on Tuesdays at 4 o'clock CST if you would ever like to join me there. So if you do like to get daily content of makeup and beauty. I hope that you will consider hitting the subscribe button, but I have so much to talk about this week, so why don't we go ahead and get started. Well, first up, I want to talk about a new release from Melt Cosmetics. It seems as though a lot of people are really excited about the Melt Hot Box. So this is going to be a collection. It includes the Haze Stack, which is $48, which is four different eyeshadows. I also have a bunch of lipsticks, lip liners, more lip liners, eyeliners, couple eyeliners, four eyeliners, five eyeliners. There's a lot of eyeliners and lip liners in there. Uh, looks like the lipsticks are $19, liners are $17, eyeliners $17. There's a makeup bag for $10 in three different colors, or you can buy the bundle of everything for $200. It's gonna be available on July 31st at noon PST on the Melt website. So I'll have a photo of the whole collection in here. I am reading from the Trend Mood One Instagram page, so her page will be linked down below. So this is a very large collection, uh, but I am gonna say that I'm gonna pass over it. I am buying a ton of makeup right now. Like there is so many new makeup releases happening right now and so many things that are really exciting me. If you watched last week's Will I Buy It video, so many people were like, you are planning to buy almost everything mentioned this week. And I'm like, I know, it is a serious problem. Just placed a Sephora order last night. So I'm gonna pass over it because I didn't really do the double take. I've never bought from Melt Cosmetics. I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to get one of their stacks, but I don't know, I feel like the Haystack, it looks nice. It looks good. I like the colors in it, but I honestly, I think I would rather get their rust stack and just like lipsticks and lip liners and eyeliners and things like that. I just, I just don't need it this time. I don't need any more makeup bags. I have a ton of them, but really the reason why I'm not buying this collection is just because there's so many other things out right now that I want to buy and I want to be putting my money towards. So that's why I'm going to pass over this Melt collection. This collection though, I like the color vibes that are going on, especially in the eyeshadow stack. That's definitely the thing that drew my attention the most was the eyeshadow stack, but $48 for four eyeshadows. I know that they are really big and you're getting a lot of product, but still $48 for four eyeshadows. That is a lot of money and I'm about to be buying the Anastasia Subculture eyeshadow palette So I just don't feel like I need these but if you guys are huge fans of Melt Cosmetics and you would recommend something Let us know or if you're picking up anything from this collection, let us know what you have your eye on So Colourpop came out with a few new releases because of course they did. They came out with concealers and also brushes. So they have a variety of different brushes in there, uh, soft synthetic fiber brushes, powder brushes, blush brushes. I mean, they have a bunch of brushes for a variety of different prices. They also have the brush bundle, which is $50, and a brush bundle plus the brush roll which is $55, and then they also have a bunch of concealers. There's 15 different shades, and they're going to be $6 each. I know they also came out with highlighters and bronzers, but people were most specifically asking me about the concealers and the brushes. So right off the bat, I'm gonna say no to the brushes for sure. I just have a ton of makeup brushes. I'm like a makeup brush junkie. I buy makeup brushes all the time. Like, I need to actually declutter my brush collection before I can think about buying more brushes and for some reason when i think of ColourPop brushes i just like don't get excited i don't know I, I mean i think it's cool that ColourPop is expanding their line and they're doing more they were kind of with their super shock eyeshadows for a really long time but seriously the brand is so freaking overwhelming like it, it's just so fast so many collections so many new releases it honestly always has like in the back of my mind i'm like is this really good quality if they're coming out so fast like I just don't know. And some of the things from ColourPop I'm not like super impressed with. I talked about them in the makeup I've changed my mind about video and about like their um, ultra matte lipsticks. So I don't know, brushes just don't really do anything for me. Concealers though, concealers. Uh, I do love concealers. I, 
uh, that's one thing that like I really don't want to leave the house with is my concealer. What I'm kind of seeing, because I know some influencers receive this in PR, so I've been watching the Snapchats and such, what I've been seeing is that it's a pretty like solid medium coverage concealer, which isn't bad for me. I, I really have become obsessed with the shape tape I'm wearing it right now, which is more full coverage, but medium coverage doesn't scare me. I don't feel like I need full coverage every single day, so when I hear medium coverage for a concealer, I think that that's fine. They have the 15 different shades, so I feel like I would be able to find a shade just fine. Now, I will say that I was planning on purchasing the concealer. I was going to buy the Yes Please palette when it came back in stock, and I was going to pick up a concealer as well. And then I missed the release. My computer, my laptop died the day that it came back in stock. I got like, I don't know, a weird message. It shut down. It kicked me out. It was very stressful. My wonderful friend Matt, who's in IT, ended up remoting into my laptop all day and working on it and trying to figure out the problem. So I don't even have control of my laptop. And to be honest, the very last thing on my mind during this time was buying new makeup because I didn't know if I needed to buy a new laptop. So I missed the release. Um, by the time we got done working on my computer, I remember, like I went back on Instagram, saw it. I was like, oh shoot, I bet it sold out. I went to the ColourPop website. Obviously it was out of stock. I'm like, you know what? We're just not meant to be together. There's been two restocks. One, I was on the road the whole time. The other, I, my laptop died and I just, I just couldn't do it. So I, I, I don't think the, me and the Yes Please pal are meant to be together, but I really don't want to just buy one concealer from ColourPop. It seems kind of silly to buy a $6 product and pay like, I don't know, five or six dollars in shipping just for one concealer. It just seems a little silly to me, but to be honest, I was going to buy a concealer if I could have bundled it with something else to hit like their $30 free shipping or just not pay shipping for one tiny concealer. I don't need a new concealer. I don't need it. I have plenty of concealers, but I was still going to buy it because I was curious. I wanted to try it and I really do like concealers, but I'm just not going to buy one concealer from ColourPop. I don't want it that much that I'm just gonna buy one product from ColourPop and there's just really nothing else from ColourPop right now that I have my eye on that I would wanna get. So that's why I decided to pass over the concealers in case you guys are wondering, but I had planned on purchasing it. It just doesn't um, call out my name enough to just buy the one, but I would love to know if you guys got them or tried them out or if you decided to pick up the brushes. Again, the brushes just, I don't know. I just have no interest in buying ColourPop brushes. I just, I don't know, I'm kind of a brush snob, so. I don't know. There's that. But if you guys tried the ColourPop brushes and you think they're amazing, let me know because, you know, I like brushes. So, but there's that for the ColourPop. I know I got so many requests to talk about ColourPop again. I know I talk about them in so many Will I Buy It videos, but this brand just releases like crazy. But those are my thoughts on the ColourPop brushes and concealers. I'd like to say that the only reason I'm talking about this next product is because so many people have asked me across all my social media channels and I felt like I had to include it in a Will I Buy It video. But I'm gonna try not to laugh the entire time that we are talking about this product because it is the Too Faced White Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette. So there's that. So this is actually gonna be a part of the Too Faced Holiday 2017 collection. So you know, drop it in July. I don't know. Maybe Christmas in July is why they're doing I don't know. I don't know why Too Faced talks about their products so far in advance, but I don't know. I think it's, uh, Trendwood says mid to end September release. So there we go. But the white chocolate bar palette. No. No, I'm not buying this. I feel like I could just wrap it up here if you guys have been following my channel for a while. But in case you guys are new here, maybe you don't know my opinion on Too Faced or the white chocolate chip palette that came out, but I hated it. I hated it. That palette is what made me put my relationship with Too Faced on hold. We are on a break right now. We are in a complicated relationship. I'm not answering Too Faced calls, probably because Too Faced isn't calling me, but if they were, I wasn't gonna be answering because that palette just made me feel things in a very bad way. I've been pretty unimpressed with Too Faced for a while, but I kept trying to give them a chance because they're one of my favorite, like first favorite high-end brands. First favorite high-end brand that I started purchasing from. So I was like, no, come on Too Faced, like we can keep it together. I bought, I bought the white chocolate chip palette and I was just like, I'm done, I don't know, I give up. 
some of their releases, the majority of their releases, are just not going well. They're just not going well on a whole. And I'm not trying to say if you like the white chocolate chip palette that you're wrong or whatever because that's totally not the case. It just wasn't for me. I actually touched on this palette in my yin and yang review video that I did in collaboration with Live Loves Her Makeup. You can check it out where we talk all about, you know, just because someone likes one thing and you don't doesn't mean you're wrong or you can't respect opinions and things like that. And we touched on the white chocolate chip palette because she actually liked it and I just like despise it, which is kind of funny, but you know, that palette did not give me good vibes. So now that they're coming out with a large one, I'm like, no, nope, I'm not doing it. It looks a little strange. I'm not, it looks a little strange. There's like a mint green almost looking. Oh yeah, it's called mint chocolate. So yeah, so that'd be a mint green. Okay, um, then they have like a lavender shade in there as well, lavender cake. I don't, um, okay. I don't, just some of the shades in here, I don't quite get 100%. I, I, you know, I see some of the shades in here that were in the small palette as well, which obviously that makes sense. But some of these other ones, I don't know, it's just not very like, it's just not very cohesive. And when I think of like the white chocolate bar palette, I guess some of these shades I don't see belonging in there. I feel like they could be in a different palette that Too Faced could dream up, but I don't know, what do I know? But another thing that I will say about the Too Faced Holiday Collection is a lot of people don't have good things to say about those releases. And man, I don't know, because a lot of people really like the chocolate bar palettes. I actually got sent the chocolate bonbon palette from a subscriber and I liked it just fine. I thought it was really good. I enjoyed the shades out of it. So I know that those are like really loved palettes, but a lot of like their special releases or their holiday releases, like the quality is just not there. And it kind of seems like the quality of Too Faced anyways is kind of going downhill lately. So I'm not going to do it. I'm assuming this palette is going to be in the $40 range, which is where I think the other chocolate bar palettes are maybe like $49 or something like that. So I'm not going to spend my money on that when I feel like we just wouldn't get along. I'll be excited to watch some reviews. You know, maybe this won't be a bad palette. So I'll just wait for the reviews to come in. But I'm not going to get the palette. I'm not going to be reviewing it. I really have no interest in this one. But I wanted to touch on it because so many people asked me. I felt like I had to include it in a Will I Buy It video. So there you go. My thoughts on the Too Faced White Chocolate Bar Palette. And next up, this was my most requested to talk about. It was really close between the Too Faced and then the Kylie Birthday Collection. Kylie Jenner is coming out with a new collection with Kylie Cosmetics, and it's about her birthday because she's turning 20, which that's very disturbing. Let's just start with that. So her birthday collection, it includes new ultra glows, new liquid lipsticks. Some of them are by Chloe. Okay. Um, the birthday book, which is a face palette and includes eyeshadows, blush, a highlighter, then there's glosses, there's more matte lipsticks, um, a makeup bag, a brush set. It's all very like pink and glittery and sparkly. I don't see prices right now. Usually Kylie doesn't release the prices until like right before the collection launches, which it launches August 1st at 3 p.m. PST. So um, when I have the prices, I can put them in the description box down below since I am pre-filming so far in advance because of going out of town. But the Kylie collection, okay. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be purchasing anything uh, from the Kylie collection. I know I've had a couple comments in the past on like my anti hauls or will I buy videos where I talk about certain brands such as Too Faced and Kylie Cosmetics and I repeatedly say that I'm not going to be purchasing from them and some people are saying, why do you even include it in your videos then? We already know, but that's not necessarily the case because if you are new, if this is my very first video of mine that you are watching, how would you know my thoughts on Kylie and Too Faced? You know what I'm saying? So even though I love and appreciate all the people who have been watching me for a very long time, there's also a lot of very new faces to my channel who might not know my past, who might not have watched past Will I Buy It or anti haul videos. Like I said too, I put in these videos the most requested products to talk about. So I'm not just randomly deciding what I want to talk about. I screenshot, I keep a list, I tally it up every single week what people want to see. And then when I put it in my Will I Buy It videos, I put it in the order as well, starting from the least requested to the most requested that week. That is how I do it. So that is why you might think, you know, why is she talking about this again? We already know that she doesn't like Kylie Jenner. 
well, you might know, but the next person watching might not know. So hopefully that makes sense. But my views on Kylie Jenner is that I, at this time, I'm just not interested in supporting. Like I've said in the past, there's just so many other brands, new brands, indie brands, women entrepreneurs that are coming out that I would just rather support over Kylie Jenner. I have had bad customer service experiences in the past with Kylie, and I'm just not super interested in this time at purchasing from her. Like I say as well, I'm not saying that I'm never going to purchase from Kylie Cosmetics or I'm never going to purchase anything that Kylie Jenner comes out with because I don't know that, I can't see into the future, something might change my mind. But at this time, it's just not what I'm interested in, especially just with so, like, as of right now, at the time that I'm filming, there is so much new makeup coming out that I would rather put my money towards than this, like, glittery, valentine-looking collection that does nothing for me. Like, this collection does nothing. I look at it and I'm just like... 20. Okay, so, all right. And I'm not trying to sound rude. I'm not a drama channel. I'm not someone who, I don't know, likes to talk-ish about a lot of other people, but the collection, the packaging, everything, it just, it does nothing for me. So that's kind of my thoughts on Kylie Jenner. That's why I don't want to purchase and, you know, support her brand at this time. But also I've tried items from her in the past. It is always so different. Like, I mean, I feel like she can't find a formula and stick with it. Every time I've made a purchase from her, especially with her liquid lipsticks, it's a different formula and I don't know what I'm getting. So that's super frustrating for me. If you don't like something, you can't return it. I mean, heck, if you place an order and two weeks later it hasn't shipped and you try to ask customer service, they basically just brush you off because they don't, they don't care. You already gave her your money. She doesn't care. That is truly how I feel when it comes to Kylie Jenner and her brand she don't care. With the Kim Kardashian West, the lipstick launch that they did together, I bought that because I'm a nude lipstick lover and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. It didn't ship for like 10 days or something like that. I tried to email customer service, they basically said like F off, we don't care. But it was crazy to me that they did a launch on Tuesday. Not one item had shipped from that launch and they relaunched, they restocked on Friday and let more people buy it without launching, without shipping original orders. That is bad business and I'm not interested. And once that happened, I'm like, you know what? I'm not interested. That was kind of like my final straw when it came to Kylie Cosmetics. I was like, you know what? I tried to not be too irritated in the beginning because I'm like, I understand a new brand, even though you're Kylie Jenner and you have literally everything at your disposal to make your business go swimmingly. I'm like, just give it a chance new business, new brand. Obviously she's just turning 20. So for her to have an entire cosmetics line, making millions every single launch is crazy, but I thought just give it time. It'll get better. And to me, it's not getting better. <laughs> it's just not getting better. So I'm not going to be purchasing anything from the Kylie birthday collection. I know a lot of you are Kylie Jenner fans and fans of Kylie cosmetics. So let me know in the comments down below what you're most interested from in this collection, because like I always say in all my will I buy it videos, you have to do you, you could just spend your money on what you want to spend your money on. And I don't have to spend my money on stuff that I don't want to spend my money on. So let us know your thoughts on the Kylie Cosmetics birthday lunch in the comments down below. But after that, that's going to do it for this week's Will I Buy It. Okay, so that's everything for this week's Will I Buy It video. I really hope that you enjoyed this week's video. That was lots to talk about this week, but I hope that you enjoyed it or found it helpful or entertaining in some way. As always, let me know in the comments what you thought about all the products that I mentioned and what you want to see included in next week's Will I Buy It? Because like I said, I go off of your requests now for these Will I Buy It? 100%. So always let me know. You can leave it in the comments or you can tag me on any of my other social media accounts, which will be right here, or I always leave them in the comments down below as well. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, I hope that you will give it a thumbs up. I hope that you will also consider subscribing before you go. And I'll catch you guys real soon in my next one. Bye.